taking the number five spot it is the adversary mode slasher now this is a really fun game mode the gist of this game mode is there's one person who has to hunt down several other people on the map uh, with a shotgun it sounds easy enough but the trick is that it's complete darkness so he has to find his way through the dark he gets a flashlight so does everyone else but if you use your flashlight it makes you very visible and vulnerable to the slasher uh, most people just hide in corners on this map that's what I recommend and uh, you just kind of have to navigate your way looking at your mini map rather than using your flashlight if you want to stay alive coming in at number four on our list is the adversary mode sumo now I like sumo for a couple of reasons uh, one, it's a small game mode, so there's only four people. So there's two teams, 2v2. Two two. And two, because it combines some of my favorite things like juking and just wreckage. Basically, there's two teams and you're supposed to knock each other off the platform. It's a hell of a lot of fun if you play with some people. Even randos are fun too, but it just I just love this game mode because you just knock people off and that's just entertaining to me. Coming in at number three is Hasta La Vista. Now, I really love this game mode. Uh, it involves four players, two people are semi-trucks, and the other two are on bicycles. And the goal is for the bikes to get to the end point, and they win. And the goal for the semi-trucks is to kill the bikers before they get to the end point. It's a lot of fun, especially if you play with a group of friends or even with some random people online again. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun juking out the trucks and watching them fall down a hill or getting stuck or something. It just makes for good laughs. Or if you're the trucks and pinching some guy with your teammate, like squeezing them together or just lambing them off track and destroying them. I have a lot of fun. That's why it makes number three. Coming in at the number two spot is Deadline. Now, Deadline is basically Tron. There's no other way to put it. Look at it. It looks exactly like Tron. Uh, it's basically you have a uh, slipstream behind you that can kill people. You're supposed to drive in front of them and they're just going to crash into it and you destroy them. That's the whole point of the game. Now it makes it interesting with power-ups around the map, like the boosting one where you can uh, grab it and you have a click L3 if you're PlayStation 4 or whatever it is on PC or Xbox and you zoom in front of them and then you can have a chance to destroy them that way. Really fun. That's why it makes number two on our list. Making the number one spot, and isn't it obvious, Overtime Freaking Rumble. Overtime Rumble is a legendary game mode uh, in GTA V. Our opinion, my opinion. Uh, this is probably the best adversary mode they've dropped. I love the combination of team-based and like a dartboard-esque kind of uh, scoring method. And the ability to knock people off of like a five or four spot is just so satisfying. It just makes me just happy inside. I know that's so evil to say. A lot of people hate that, and a lot of people dislike some of our videos with Overtime Rumble just because they don't like the tip of knocking people off. But I think it makes the game mode so much fun. Just a quick update for the channel, guys. Uh, we're about to hit 700 subscribers. I think last time I checked, we were at 696. That's incredible. Uh, that's honestly really awesome. You guys make that possible, which is great. All the, all the likes, comments, and just viewing the video makes, makes everything... Uh, move so much quicker to that 1,000 sub mark and I really want to thank every single one of you who subscribe and watch the videos and get to the point of the video video where I say things like this, like a thank you message to all of you. Uh, continue to watch our videos, uh, it, it, it really does uh, make us really happy that people watch the content we make and we want to continue making the content for you guys to watch. So again, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and uh, don't forget to keep watching if you're here and have been here for a while.